It was a huge hit, weather and science day at Coors Field. So Kathy Sabin and Steve Spangler are going to team up again this Wednesday, May 12th. That's not this Wednesday, but a week from Wednesday. And today to get ready for the event, Mark, Steve and a big crew are in the backyard with eggs. Woo, Mark, it, oh, that's there dangerous. They are. <laughs> the stars of the show, you know, I was thinking just this morning, you know, it's a really nice day for an egg drop. <laughs> and you were thinking this is a nice suit for an egg drop too. Yeah. Hey, our, the right one. our Weather and Science Day, and this is brand new for our Weather and Science Day. I've got five ki or five schools that were selected, 10 amazing kids here, and they're gonna walk us through their egg drop okay. uh, contraption. Now this has to survive a fall of 57 feet, oh all right, 57 feet. So our, our first kids are from Dowell. Tell me your name. Christian Rodriguez. And? Janaya Chavita. Nice, and tell us why your egg is gonna survive at Coors Field. Because when um, um, the aluminum foil absorbs the energy of the egg falling and the cotton balls um, help it to not to crack. <laughs> this is gonna be good. And if this works, you could wrap a car in aluminum foil and you're gonna be okay, right? That's All right, good. so pick, pick an, an egg. egg. There you go, pick an egg. Pick an egg, the good. egg. Yeah, oh, that was a good one. All right, right. good. All right, All let's right. move down. And we've got, what elementary school are you from? Asbury. Asbury, and tell me your name. Autumn Wilson. Good, and your partner is? Jason Tensio. Nice to meet you. And tell us why yours is gonna work. I was just gonna work because of the recycled material that we found right by its recycling bid and um, the bubble wrap that we secure the egg from. So, and yeah, and we put a bag, an egg in the bag. That way, when if it does crack, it would go into the bag. Excellent. Ah. You need to pick an egg. All right, buddy. man, you pick the egg. Get a good, get a good victim there. Ah, ah excellent we'll choice. Be back with you, I promise. Federal Heights here has a great contraption. Tell me your name. I'm Miguel Moreno. Good, and? Um, I'm Hector Zamarone. Good, and tell us why yours is gonna survive. Well, the secret to our success are the straws because it doesn't allow to the, for the strings to get tangled, and and it also helps the parachute stay, stay steady, and it, it could also help it glide smoothly through the air. Ah. Exactly, and judging from your teachers back here, they like it, they like Confidence it. Is high. Grab you your egg. egg, there you are. Good job, well done. excellent. Hey, we're down at Southeast Elementary, tell me your name. My name is Daniel Asmussen. Good, and you are? Uh, Will Sattler. And look at the design in this one. You have nylons. What is your secret? Um, our secret is that since there are slanted sides, that will slow the fall, and the nylons will absorb the shock when it hits the ground. So any way it falls, it can't crack. Ah, Excellent. All right, pick an egg. Good one right there. Uh, that's it. That's and finally, the that's Pioneer good. Charter School. Tell me your name. My name is Isaiah Maldonado. Nice to meet you. And you are? Veronica Garcia. Nice to meet you. Tell us, you've got a roll of toilet paper. What is going to happen here? Well, the the toilet paper is, the paper is soft and squishy. So in case the parachute doesn't work on ours, then at least uh, it's soft and squishy right here. So the impact of the fall won't be uh, damage the egg as much. Future engineers, Mark. Pick an egg. You got it? Oh, that's, oh, All that right. is another. Mark, episode. our own Ken Heiberger is going to be high up in a lift, and we're going to drop for the next part. This so when they come right back, here? that they're going to shoot it up another, I don't know, 40 feet, right, Ken? <laughs> and we're going to let them drop. Baby, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny's so going our kids right up. now are going to putting their eggs in place, and they're going to be ready to go. All right. So. If you want to be part of Weather and Science Day at Coors Field, by the way, we have all the information on our on our 4 o'clock page on 9news.com, all right? And uh, Steve and the crew will be back to uh, drop the egg. Kim, back into you. I think wind conditions are just right. And so far, Kenny Heiberger has not cut and run, so I think we actually have an engineer involved. Okay, otherwise there's an omelet in your future. Okay. An omelet, yes, an omelet is coming. <laughs> Scramble. Give Kenny. us a big wave, Kenny Heiberger, 400 feet above the ground in the nine backyard. In our high Objects boy. Appear well, give, give yeah. or take. Take a few feet yeah. up there. He is. All right, here comes that first one there with toilet paper. All right, this the toilet one. paper contraption ad. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's. Don't get it yet. Keep it there. What's next? Oh, this one's the lampshade. Oh, la this was. The I put money champagne. on this, and I've got money on the uh, lampshade. Oh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> You're doing yeoman's work up there. Oh, here Kitty. we go. Aluminum foil. Ed. Oh, oh, that's got a possibility. That one's a good one. That sounded like I, a wet mop. Get her, are you doing there. okay up there? Look at him. He's starting to wobble. Do we have insurance? We do, don't we? Kitty is heavily yeah. insured. Yes, he is. All right, here we go. Oh, here's the straw contraption. Oh, this, Ready? Oh, here it goes. Oh, oh, the chute opens. Oh, oh nice camera good. work, Tom Cole. Right, well and done. We got one more, and this one is the big box. Look at this. Recycled goods in the box. Ready? And, set. Uh, uh, oh! All right, kids, go get them. Ready? Go get them. 
Bring him back. <laughs> this Hoffer, uh, you're at Asbury, is that right? Yes. All right, so tell us what this does for kids besides a lot of fun. Well, it helps them with their critical thinking skills and problem solving. And really, I think it helps with uh, understanding the physics of dropping an egg. I think you're absolutely right. Would you look at this over here? Here we go. All right, do we have success yet? Do we? <gasps> yeah. It worked, right? How do you feel? Uh, <laughs> awesome. 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 All right, we're going through. Let's look over here. Do we have success? No. Scramble. Oh, uh, a little scr That's okay. Now, you can't change your design for the big drop at Coors Field, but you can go back and kind of rework this. <gasps> Look at this! The aluminum foil totally worked. You, did it, it absorbed it, is that right? Yeah. Beautiful. And let's see this one here. <laughs> you think you guys can do 57 feet? Yeah. No problem. All right, we're going over here. Let's go to the last one. three out of five so far. Yes, toilet paper. It's good, but it's stuck. It's okay. It's good. <laughs> the teacher gives us good, and it's stuck, but it's there. Mark, I would call this a huge success. I would give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> Kirk wanted to know which came first, the chicken or the egg. Yes. And I'm not really sure what it came first. All I know is don't drop the chicken, all right? So we just don't drop the chicken yeah, Was all. it the chicken? Kirk wants to know what came first, the chicken or the egg. So he brought us up. Yeah. The egg. Yeah. <laughs> we think. We got a big event. 10,000 have already registered. Yes. And big big event. We're going to do this huge musical event as well that we've never done before. Maybe Guinness, I'm not sure. <laughs> Out at uh, Weather and Science Day, uh, everything from admission prices to how you can get tickets is on our 4 o'clock page, all right? Hey, let's say a big thank you to Kenny Heiberger, our engineer. Yeah! Over there. Kenny, our brave engineer. Up there, 400 feet in the air, or give or take a few feet there. <laughs> Listen, kids, you all did a great job, you know? We all learned a little bit from this, you know, what, what kind of redesigning we need to do and how to make it go better, but I say all in all, a huge success. I'm wrapping my car in aluminum foil, that's it. <laughs> in bubble wrap, right? <laughs>